1979, what a year. Since then, a lot of things have changed, but one thing's remained true. The great Ultratune promise to offer a logbook service by our highly qualified mechanics. Ultratune, over 270 locally owned centres servicing Australia since 1979. A listener production. Hey, it's Amy Ross with you. The limestone coast is set to avoid the worst of the weather gripping South Australia at the moment. The Weather Bureau's Morgan Pumper says they're monitoring an unpredictable low-pressure system over the bite. We can see for the limestone coast and the southeast, we have got the chance of some showers as well as the chance of some thunderstorms today about Mount Gambia. Canberra has set aside $15 million to fund close to 30 new mobile phone towers across the limestone coast. It's hoping the boost will dissolve the black spot areas in the region and improve the southeast's mobile phone coverage. Telstra has proposed sites in Robe, Mount Gambia, Tantanula and Panola. Regional Development Minister Claire Scriven says we'll see a boost to reception. So we expect them to start construction next year and so it should be soon after that. And one of the other really good things about this is that it will improve also access in emergencies from users of other services. So that's another big boost. In a year when the price of housing is showing no signs of slowing down, the state government owned Homestart supported nearly 1,400 first home buyers in the most recent financial year. That's the highest number in a decade. And a truck driver has had a brush with death after a crash on the Dukes Highway saw a tree branch pierce his windscreen. Emergency services responded to reports of a crash on the Dukes Highway near Bordertown on Saturday morning. It's believed the 62-year-old driver received minor injuries and was taken to Bordertown Hospital. Sport now. The Mount Gambia Lakers men were able to get two wins on the board for round 10 of the Country Basketball League. The doubleheader on the road saw the side down the Hornets by eight points, then beat the Coasters in a tight five point match. Meantime, the Lakers women fell in both of their games, going down by seven points to the Hornets, then eight to the Coasters.